There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. You made it! I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours, and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Bombarda! It's another aggressive one! Bombarda! Foipers! I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foipers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. If the Moonstone is here, and so are Fwoopers, I wonder if it's being protected. Akio! First the Fwoopers, and now this. moths for those spinners. Lumos. Lumos. I'm sure we can work out a way across.
Lumos. 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 Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. <sighs> Incendio. There's a lot to do. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that the poachers haven't been here. Assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. We found it! Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. 
think that's it over there. Whoa. How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the middle. Her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran I've managed to see not one but two moon calf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually I... I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed High Wing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen, a good one, a sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed High Wing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin? I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Rebellion. moon, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. That sounds a fine idea, but I would like to look around a little before we leave. Of course. I'll just wait here and try not to fall asleep. Revelio. I suppose it is rather late, isn't it? We can head back to the castle if you've seen enough moon calves one day.
Yes, please. I'm ready to leave if you are. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Sebastian has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop! You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Yet here we are. He won't listen to reason. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Sebastian must not be in his right mind. Last time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. Where was Sebastian when you and Anne found him? Just ahead, in the great room. Fringo, 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 Incendium. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Bombardo. There weren't this many in theory before. And there's no sign of the Incendium. Accio. Glacius. Protego. Lumos. Confringo. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Expelliarmus. Bombardo. Bingo! 
So worried about Sebastian, I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were Inferi, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating Inferi is incredibly difficult, but controlling them. As Anne and I frantically barricaded the Inferi to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the Headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. Be careful. How many inferior? Confringo! Expelliarmus! Bombarda! Protego! Confringo! Expelliarmus! Bombarda! Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Isn't this incredible? Sebastian, I told you, the relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it, just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight the Inferi all the way. What have the two of you done? Accio Relic! You'll pay for this. What fool of you are gone? Place it. Ask Freddy. Save Akio. What are you doing? Defender! Kim Gringo! Expelliarmus! Expelliarmus! 
Bombarder. Cabalso. Akio. Incendio. Now you've gone too far. Defender. Place. Incendio. Have you done? I must get out of here. I can't let him leave. Sebastian! Wait! Stop, Sebastian! Hold on! What is it? Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. 
Solomon's never been there for us. Not really. He gave up on Anne. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... He did attack us. You had no choice. It was brave, Sebastian. You clearly care more about Anne than your uncle ever did. I knew you'd understand. I did do the right thing. You did. I would have done the same, if I knew how. I could teach you. No time like the present. The killing curse won't be easy to master. As with all unforgivables, you have to mean it. Hold your wand steady. Focus. The incantation is Avada Kedavra. Your intention must be clear. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian. Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft, all right? where we can find Doran. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest and we can tell him about the symbol the Mooncalves made. And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why, or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. 